In today's financial markets, less than 10% of trades are made by human traders. The majority of trades are made by quant traders who utilize algorithms to quickly analyze data, recognize price patterns, and execute trades at the speed of light. But can these traders who utilize machine learning or even artificial intelligence outperform human traders? Well, according to a very successful quant fund manager, he can. So in this video, I'm going to share with you his quant fund methodology and what makes it so profitable. Hey traders, this is Mike Sir here. I've been an active trader for over 21 years and a trader coach for the past 15 years. In my videos, I profile all the top traders in the world and teach you how to replicate their incredible success. I've been fortunate to train many successful traders and in this video, I'm gonna talk about a different type of trader that you don't normally hear much about in the media. A trader that due to technology advancement has been supplanting human traders all around the world. Now they're often referred to as quant traders as well as other names such as algo traders or black box traders. The type of trading that these traders are involved in are referred to as quantitative trading. Now this involves the use of computer algorithms and programs based on simple or complex mathematical models to identify and capitalize on available trading opportunities. Also it involves capturing a lot of data such as historical price pattern and processing it to identify potential trading opportunities. Now the rise of quant traders in the financial markets is due to several factors. Now one major reason that I've already mentioned is computer processing power has substantially improved in the past 10 to 15 years. And this really allowed computers to be able to parse, analyze and integrate data much, much better than a human can ever do. And even recognize patterns that may be invisible to the human eye. Now, another reason is humans are emotional and we're prone to mistakes. Like in my previous videos, I profiled traders who had fat fingered mistakes or simply are drunk that cost their firms millions of dollars. Now, computers never make mistakes. Now, once a quant trader programs a trading system with a set of rules, then it will follow them without any questions. Now, a quant trader's ability to have an edge in trading is really all about the system's ability to crunch data, recognize patterns, and place trades based on objective criteria. And this type of system and process has led to some remarkable results. A very good recent example of this is in the fourth quarter of 2019, quant investing pioneer Renaissance Technologies took a massive position in Tesla stock right before the stock skyrocketed. And this trade made more than $1.5 billion for the company. No analyst trained in traditional fundamental investing would have dared to place that trade, but Renaissance's computers picked up a pattern that a human trader would probably have missed. In the next part, I'll talk more about the genius and founder behind Renaissance Technologies. Jim Simons, who was already a well-renowned mathematician, founded Renaissance Technologies along with his business partner, Howard Morgan, in 1978, when he realized that he actually could apply the same mathematical and statistical models to interpret stock market data. Now, this led them to have the world's most successful quant fund called the Medallion Fund with an average return of 40% per year net of fees for the past 30 years. This has made Jim a very rich man with a personal net worth of more than $25 billion. Now the fund has had very few losing weeks, let alone losing months or even quarters. And this consistency is remarkable because very, very few human traders can claim this type of consistent track record. Now, just to give you a further idea of how successful this fund was, is that if you invested $1,000 into Medallion Fund in 1988, by 2018, which is 30 years later, you would have had over $23 million in profits after fees. The Medallion Fund is very different from other hedge funds in that the fund only employs scientists and mathematicians. There are no economists, there's no fundamental analysts, or even traditional Wall Street background employees. Now, how the fund works is they have scientists who research and gathered a library of around 8,000 short-term price patterns, and they would use systems to detect these patterns in real time. 
and then trade these signals in and out of the markets thousands to tens of thousands of times each day in stock exchanges all around the world. Now their trading is very different from high frequency trading or HFT, mainly because their trading is not based on speed, but rather on short term trading strategies. And in order for them to keep their library updated while constantly rotating into trades that are working and other trades that have stopped working, they process an insane amount of data and they incorporate any market volatility in real time. The biggest reason for the fund's success is because of the infrastructure that Jim and his team built to run such a high precision operation. Now, let me be clear here. Jim's quant model is not 100% accurate, meaning that it doesn't make money on all of its trades. And in fact, in 1998, another very successful quant fund called Long Term Capital Management, they actually went bust due to their unwavering confidence in their trading models. They made the mistake of doubling down on losing positions that the quants identified were supposed to recover in value, but they never did. In Renaissance's quant models, their system conservatively cuts position with losses when the signal is not working. And as I mentioned, you know, in many of my top trader profile videos, this is the key. You see, even though Jim and his team have built a remarkable trading operation, the win loss ratio for medallion's trades is just 2%, a difference of 51% versus 49%. So really just a little bit better than the flip of a coin. But because they can apply this 2% edge thousands or even tens of thousands of times per day, the fund can deliver profitability on a consistent basis. Also, another reason why the fund can achieve high returns is really the ability for them to utilize leverage in their trading. Now, as I mentioned in my leverage video, if you have trading consistency and your profits are very reliable, then why wouldn't you use leverage in your trading? Well, this is why the fund would sometimes use up to 10 to one leverage, meaning that if the fund had $10 billion in total assets, the fund could be leveraged up to become a $100 billion fund. And if the $100 billion fund can consistently generate 10% per year, let's just say, that means that it generates $10 billion in profits, 100% return on its investment. So what can we learn from these quant traders to apply to our own trading? So the first lesson is we are our biggest weakness. As I've already mentioned, manual trading done by humans is susceptible to emotions that can potentially lead to irrational decisions. For example, such as doubling down on losing trades or not getting out of losing trades. And typically there are two emotions in trading and they are greed and fear. And again, if we can manage or minimize human emotions from trading and trade with a set of predefined rules, then there's a higher probability that we actually might see improved trading performance. And this is actually also a reason why trading psychology is so important. And you can check out a whole bunch of videos that I made about this specific topic at the end of this video. The second lesson is the incredible speed and accuracy of computers. So an algorithm can gather, analyze, and backtest hundreds of different trading strategies, each with their several criteria in literally a split second. And no human can ever accomplish this feat. And this is why human traders should only focus on one or two different types of markets or even focus only on a few stocks, let alone try to monitor, you know, hundreds of stocks that are constantly moving and showing good trade setups. And also having automated system to place your trades completely reduces human errors. The third lesson is the importance of risk management. Now, as I said in so many times in my previous videos, managing risk is the most important reason why traders have a lot of success in trading. And it's not beer purely because they're such great stock pickers or price predictors. In fact, Jim's quant fund, as I mentioned, is only 51% profitable on its trades. So when his model isn't working, then the model cuts its losses quickly. And this is really the big reason why sometimes you know, quant trading is more profitable than human trading. And it's not because of their accuracy or not the, in terms of their ability to react quickly, but it's just the fact that they have no emotion while it's trading. 
Personally, for myself, I started experimenting with quant trading about 10 years ago and really been more heavily involved in the past five years. So comment below if you want me to talk more about quant trading and the lessons that I've learned along the way. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to watch other videos where I profile the top traders in the world, please click on the left for another trader profile video and also click on the right for my top trader profile playlist. I'll see you on the next video.